Hello, my name is Caesar, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to apply just for men mustache and beard. I'm gonna give you guys some tips, some advice. So if all that sounds good, keep watching. Let's start off by telling you guys what's inside the box. First thing you're gonna find inside the box is a set of gloves. I personally do not use the gloves because I apply to myself. So the gloves are usually if you're applying it to somebody else and also if you get messy, but if you do it nice and carefully, you do not need to wear the gloves. Next is the instructions, but if you're anything like me, you probably don't even read instructions and that's probably why you're watching this video. So go ahead and throw those out. Next you're going to find the applicator brush. One side is the pointy side and this is to mix both solutions and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. And the other side is a brush applicator, it has the bristles and this is what you're going to use to apply the solution to your face. It also comes with a tray and this is used to mix the solutions. Do not throw the tray away because you're going to need it for future applications as well. Last but not least, it's the most important thing in the box and that's the two solutions. You have the color base and the color developer. You're going to need to mix both of these solutions together to make the actual dye that you're going to be applying to your face. Now that we took a look at all the items that was inside the box, I want to talk to you guys about color for a brief second. I use real black because I think it matches my beard the most when my beard is dry and free from any oils or any products. Speaking of products, any products mentioned in this video is going to be linked down below in the description box. Back to color, so I use the second darkest color on the market. There is one that's even more darker and that's called Jet Black. So be on the lookout for that if your hair is a little bit darker than my beard is. I'd say the most sold color out there that matches the majority of men is going to be dark brown and there's different variations of dark brown. So just check out all the colors and see what best matches your beard. Now that I've covered color, let's take a closer look at my beard so you guys could see all the grays. So my grays are mainly in my goatee area and not so much on the sides of my beard. I do see that the grays are starting to creep up on the side and you can even see one right there. So besides the grays, I actually have some different coloration on my mustache. It's kind of like a light brown to dirty blonde. You guys can see what I'm talking about right here. Spots all over my mustache. And I even have a little bit of that uh, light brown in my beard as well. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? In the daylight, you could totally tell. One of my friends from work actually told me my mustache looks like a calico cat. Because believe it or not, my beard has not always been this full. I had patches everywhere all over my beard until I used this product that really helped me out. And I do have videos on that, so if you're interested in that video, stay to the end of this video and just click or tap on the screen and you'll be able to see that or go down to the description box so I'm going to have it down there as well. Now before you apply the solution to your actual face, it's highly recommended from Just For Men that you apply a small amount on a test area to see if you're actually allergic to the product or not. And I am allergic to dust mites, to grass, I have sensitive skin, so I did not skip out on this test. I hope you guys don't either. And I was actually going to show you guys some pictures of some people that their whole face is just swollen and red. I just didn't want to get demonetized so if you guys want to see those images just google it and you'll google uh, just for men uh, allergic reaction and you guys will see what I'm talking about so please do a little test before you actually use this product and to do the allergic test all you have to do is take a small amount of the product of both solutions you're gonna mix it up and then you're just gonna apply it to your skin I'm gonna apply it to my wrist so you guys could see what I'm talking about here. And Just For Men recommends that you leave it in for five minutes. So put it on your skin, leave it for five minutes, wipe it off, then wash it. And then that way you guys could see if you're allergic or not, if it 
puffs up, if it's red, if it's irritated. So those are the kind of things you need to look out for before you actually apply the solution to your face. Once you pass the reaction test, you can move on to the next step, which is actually applying the product to your beard. First tip, you wanna make sure that your beard hair is free from any types of products or oils because the dye is not gonna take that well if your beard is dirty. So easy step, all you have to do is wash your beard out. You could use soap, you could use water, or you could get fancy like me, and you could use this beard wash right here. Now it's time to actually apply the product to your beard. An issue a lot of beginners have is they don't know how much solution that they could actually use. I'm going to show you how much I use and you guys could kind of gauge it from there. I'd say it's a little better if you use more solution than you actually think you're going to need. Mixing more solution takes time and Just For Men recommends that you only leave the solution in your beard for 5 minutes. So this takes time and it cuts into those 5 minutes. Moral of the story, it's better to use more than you think you're going to need. It doesn't matter what solution you pour into the tray first because you're going to mix them both at the same time. Just make sure that you have the same amount of each solution. Now it's time to mix using the pointy end of the applicator. Now you want to mix until you get a consistent color and do not be alarmed if that color is not exactly the same as it is on the box. It's probably going to be a little bit lighter until you actually start applying the product to your face. And do not forget to wipe off the end of the brush before you apply or it's going to get all over your hands. I have another helpful tip before you guys apply the gel to your face. And I have mentioned this already, but Just For Men recommends that you only put it in your face for five minutes and then wash it off. Because the longer you have it on your face or on your beard, the darker it gets. So if you want it matching like it is on the box, just do for five minutes. Um, if you want it to be darker, you can leave it in for longer, but I just use it for five minutes. Let's apply the gel now. Use the brush portion of the applicator to finish mixing the solution and then you're going to use this to actually apply it to your beard. I start by applying it in a downward motion, kind of like I'm combing my hair. I try to focus on only getting my hair and only my hair because this product does stain your skin a little bit. So try to be precise and just focus on getting your hair. So the comb method is great to apply when you're doing it right next to your skin. After the comb method, I really get in there by moving my hairs in all kinds of directions just to make sure the dye is going all the way down to the root. That way I don't miss any gray spots. This process for me takes no more than 30 seconds. It might take you a little bit longer on your first application, maybe a minute or so, but I don't see it taking any longer than one minute on your first application. Another good tip is right after you're finished applying with the brush, make sure you wipe off the excess dye that's on your skin. I usually use a baby wipe and I go in there and I remove anything that's even close to my skin. So make sure you do that. You could use a cloth or something else, but just make sure you wipe off the excess dye. Do not, I repeat, do not forget to look at the time because you need to start your five minute countdown after you're done applying this product. A quick tip on that is just use your cell phone clock app. They usually have the countdown timers. I use mine, I set it for five minutes and I set it and forget it. Well, I don't really forget it. <laughs> Next step, you probably guessed it, but it's wait for five minutes. Now I usually go to the shower to wash off, but I want to keep this video PG. I don't want to get demonetized, so I am going to wash off right next to the sink. I first start by just using water to get all the dye off of my beard, and I do this by kind of just patting down on my beard. It is completely normal for the water to look dirty or to actually be the same color as your dye. This is normal. Do not freak out. After I get most of the dye out by using my hands and water, and then I use my actual beard wash. Hashtag not sponsored, link down below. 
Now what I do is I put a little bit on my hand and then I apply it to my beard and I wash for about 30 seconds or so to make sure I get all the dye out of there. If you do not have the beard wash, do not fear. You could actually just use soap and water or shampoo and water. Just make sure you get in there real good and get all the dye out of there so you could actually take a look at the finished product and see how well the dye took. So here is what the finished product looks like. You guys tell me what it looks like. Does it look good? Does it not? Did I get all the grays? Did I get that calico hair in my mustache? What do you guys think? I want to hear you in the comment box. Here is a quick look what it looks like in direct sunlight so you guys can see that it really took, it got rid of those weird brown hairs that I have in my mustache. I don't normally dye those hairs, but I just want to show you guys that it's possible to get everything the same color, so to get rid of the grays and any other uh, mist colors that you guys have in your hair. If you guys want to grow your beard out, like I mentioned earlier in this video, make sure you click on any of these two videos right here. If you guys have any additional tips, please add them in the comment box below. Like you could use Vaseline on your skin, that way you don't dye your skin area. I hope you guys like this video and I will check you guys out on the next video.